Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Planet Coaster video. Uh, so today we're going to be finishing out my X-Wing project, uh, my paying homage to my old Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 build that I built back in the day. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to sort of finish this out and I guess today we're going to just tie up loose ends. I want to add some landscaping around the park, I need to add some shops and some other facilities like bathrooms and staff rooms and things like that. So yeah, let's jump to the time lapse. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is build the entryway to the ride and the entry sign. And normally around these entry signs, I sometimes find that a lot of parks like to add locker stations. So that's what I'm built here, or that's what I'm building here. And usually you have to pay a lot of money for these lockers. Um, sometimes they pay, sometimes they offer them for free. But I, I realized that we do have bins on the station platform, but I figured uh, a lot of parks have these, so I might as well just add them myself. And it adds kind of a, a bit of a touch of realism here, so adding a workshop item that has actually been really helpful, and I really love the locker, so I don't have to mess with art shapes or whatever to make these uh, custom. So yeah, uh, I think it turned out pretty well, just a little nook there, you know. And then now I think we need to jump onto the main event of this area, and that is like the sign to enter the ride. And I was trying to keep with my steampunk theme, right? So what I had to do was I was like, okay, what sort of pieces can I use that sort of match up the steampunk theme? And I ended up using a lot of the vintage pieces and the letters, the vintage li light up letters, I think look really cool. I've actually used these light up letters so much in all of my parks. I think they look really cool and interesting. Um, so they always make an appearance in every one of my parks. So <laughs> how to do it here. And now just adding a little bit of decorations around the ride. I know I know a lot of, or around the sign, I know a lot of rides, they tend to do this. They make their sign or their entryway like really detailed and um, sort of conveying the theme around whatever the ride is. So figured I should do that here as well. Uh, just throwing on some smokestacks and whatnot. So, And now I'm kind of trying to establish a standard for the area and so what I built here was a little light post standard and now what I'm building is a standard fence and I plan to use this around the entirety of the of the entire um, the entire site pretty much around all the roller coasters around all the pathways just using this sort of standard fence um, idea and now I am working on some <laughs> X statues I guess so if you had seen my older video, if you look at the front, we have a bunch of X's uh, by the entrance and I wanted to build those X statues on uh, this version as well, but obviously now that I have Planet Coaster, I can make things a lot more detailed and uh, decided to make them multicolored and then eventually add a little bit of more texture to them. So I added some, uh, I guess, I guess this is like metal uh, texture or whatever. So. Um, and then just kind of adding a planter around it too to sort of tie it together. And it's interesting because these X's I just kind of threw on, I remember when I was building the bu building the original ride in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I was like, oh, I need to throw something here at the entrance and I decided just to do X's. But <laughs> uh, I think it actually kind of looks pretty cool in the new version as well. So I think it turned out pretty well. And then I sort of, uh, I did this off camera, but I lined the pathway a little bit more with some more of that standard fence that I built at the entrance. And I wanted to add a taller gate or a taller fence that wraps around um, the coaster here because I didn't want anyone sort of jumping over the, the fence there and getting hurt by the ride. So I figured double fencing is fine because the fencing that is wrapping around the path right now is more of a decorative thing. So this is more of a practical realism type deal. And I actually struggled with that fence a lot, so, <laughs> um, and you'll see what I mean when I kind of uh, get further on into this build. But yeah, uh, finally we're moving on to some landscaping, and just kind of a heads up, the landscaping is going to be completed in like different pieces and stuff, so I uh, just kind of want to finish an area, move on to another area, move on to another area, so a lot of the landscaping and such is going to be part of that. And in theme of making standard stuff, I'm actually making a standard custom light post. Uh, I was looking through the light posts and I feel like the the ones that come in one piece didn't really seem like they worked very well for the theme and I wanted to make things a little bit more fun and detailed. So 
I decided to make my own custom light posts out of the vintage items and I think it goes well with the sort of uh, grungy steampunk theme that we have going on so yeah I think it turned out pretty well. And finally just kind of lining the other roundabout with these tall fences. Um, these tall fences are made with like a half uh, pretty much like a they're the they're used for like coaster stations but you can make them as sort of half walls and then I just put a fence on that so you can kind of it, it's basically like a concrete footing that wraps around it um, and then I just line it with some flowers and I kind of did this standard throughout the entirety of the park or I guess the ride <laughs> so and yeah just copying these uh, light posts down I eventually later on finished when I when I finished out everything I decided uh, I needed to add more of those light posts but that'll come later uh, and now I decide, hmm, this fence is too tall. <laughs> I actually was looking at the fence and it just seemed way too tall for me. So I decided to remove an entire piece. And this actually was uh, pretty difficult because I had to isolate all of those pieces, rotate them, um, the sort of top flanges or, or like, I guess, I, I forget the name, but it's like uh, the fence when at the top there's like rebar or um, barbed wire. So I needed to move that down and isolate it. And now I'm just building the center sort of roundabout. <laughs> uh, I, this area was really blank and I struggled a lot with trying to figure out what's put here, but I decided eventually to just add a little um, building that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> if anything, it's just decoration. So um, yeah, just it, it, I think it turned out pretty well. It, there's no function to it. It's just there for show, but uh, I think it works with the overall theme and the decoration of the ride and the facade. So. In the original Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 version that I made, there was there was no theme there, so but there was nothing in those roundabouts, so I was like, you know what, I need to redeem myself and build one um, as well. And then I needed to build a sort of center planter here, and I think eventually when we get onto lighting, I'm going to add some lights in those center areas, so, uh, but we'll get onto that later. Finally, moving on to the line, <laughs> I am just building a basic, I just wanted to build a basic shade structure and a lot of the times when you're in theme parks and whatnot, you're waiting in long, long lines and I never liked it when lines were exposed to the sun because uh, you just get like, it's really uncomfortable and you can get burned or, uh, you know, whatever. It, sometimes if, if it's even raining as well, it can be very uncomfortable because you're going to get all wet. So I wanted to build like a, a shade structure. I'm not really sure what the climate is for this uh, ride or wh wherever this ride takes place. I would, I'm kind of envisioning it's more of a, it's more of a uh, luscious or there's more trees and it probably rains a little bit more than like California or like the Mediterranean, but um, it, it's still kind of, it still can get pretty hot. So I wanted to build a cool trellis structure and I think it turned out pretty well um, with the look and the wood color and everything. So, and now just adding some basic uh, line uh, theming and I added some TVs. Normally in those TVs you would find like ads or whatever in uh, you know, the standard park uh, corporate setup. <laughs> added a little ride entrance sign and actually added a little wait time sign as well. I don't know, I decided to do 25 minutes, but honestly, I think the wait would probably be much longer considering I only have one train running, but you know, I think it works pretty well. Um, you know, on a, on a light day, I feel like it would be 25 minutes. Um, and just adding some more decorations to the line. Again, I didn't really, you know, this is, we're doing generic park here, so I didn't have to <laughs> really detail the line extremely crazy, but obviously wanted to add something there. So, and now I'm actually adding something that I think was pretty, uh, pretty cool. And I don't know if a lot of people have done it and that's sort of adding a retaining wall. I am considering adding, well, yeah, I, I'm not considering, I did add a hill in the back. So I wanted to sort of add some grade changes around the ride. Cause I feel like grade changes make, the ride looked pretty cool and I finally just wanted to surround this area with trees and something because I was sick and tired of looking at uh, flat plains <laughs> with no uh, with no other, you know, lush, there's no like trees, there's nothing else, it's just all flat and it can get pretty boring so when I add trees and stuff, it actually helps me kind of, in, in, it actually helps inspire me because I'm, I'm someone that doesn't like to work from scratch, I like to work from something else so once I add something, 
I start getting more ideas and I was like, okay, so, uh, you know, I can add some trees around here and now I kind of understand more of the feeling of the ride and the outskirts and it, you know, it's just a lot better to look at. <laughs> and now I'm actually working on something I think is really, really cool and I'm super proud of it. And that is, I'm adding sort of a memorial um, to my old ride. <laughs> As you can see, I took some screenshots from the ro old Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 ride and I'm adding them here, doing kind of before and after. This is highly, um, this is highly inspired by six if you've ever gone to six flags they have like plaques commemorating all the roller coasters they built over the years and that's kind of what i wanted to emulate here so i just yeah so i just added some before and after and i think it looks pretty cool and i was going to build like an entire museum or something like that but i figured the plaques probably make sense and anyone that downloads the workshop or any anyone that downloads it from the workshop can um, kind of see what where it came from and uh, whatnot so yeah speaking of workshop I am planning to upload this to the workshop eventually I just need to I think I just want to do it with the release of the final video so uh, keep an eye out for the final video I think I should have it up hopefully within a week or two of uploading this video and I'll make sure to include a POV <laughs> might even actually do a POV side side by side between the uh, old ride and the new, but I'll see how I want to format the video. Getting back to the build, I guess. Uh, just adding some more foliage around the site, and I always find that adding foliage really ties the park together or whatever you're building together because it adds more of a color contrast from your your bland your bland grassland, your bland flatland, and your ride. I think greens and floral sort of colors and tree colors and things like that go really well with uh, you know rides structures and whatnot moving on again I th so right here I'm actually building a picture stand I wasn't gonna build pictures for this ride uh, event at the start but I figured it'd be pretty cool and I eventually got it to flash like you can see right now it it's sort of emulating pictures but <laughs> you know it doesn't actually take pictures because I don't think you can do that in planet coaster but and then I decided, okay, so they have to buy their they have to buy their picture somewhere. So I'm just kind of building a quick little station here where you can buy your photos, your on ride photos. And I actually had a lot of fun making this too because I wanted to add like, and you'll see in a second, but I add some TVs and I add some pictures that I took of on ride guests, and I think it looked pretty cool. It definitely adds to the realism, like. You know, this is your picture that you would buy on the ride. So I just took three screenshots of different guests. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty well and I'm pretty proud of it. Um, so moving on, I actually wanted to discuss something and that is, I actually just started a Discord server. So I'm kind of not, I'm kind of new to Discord. <laughs> I don't really know a lot of how to sort of manage a server, I guess of different, you know, of like a more of a, a more public server. I've done it with like friends and things like that, but um, yeah, so feel free to join me. I will put my username in the description. It's the Conster, I forget the numbers. <laughs> I think it's like 9877, I think, but I don't know at the top of my head. Please look at the description. Um, feel free to add me and I will add you to the Discord. So yeah, checked out the description below. I will add the um, Discord name there, and uh, yeah, feel free to add me, and I'll add you to the add you to the server. Um, and also, I started a Twitter. <laughs> I started a Twitter for uh, this project. It's also the Conster. I will link it below. Um, again, I, I don't I haven't really used Twitter very much, but I figured started re restarting this YouTube channel. I figured we could add um, some more social media outlets for people to. Uh, interact with me if they need to or whatnot. So yeah, just, you know, <laughs> trying to broaden my spectrum, learn how to do this YouTube thing, social media thing. Um, and I hope you guys can just sort of bear with me, but my heart's always been at YouTube. <laughs> Moving on to the build again, I am actually building a little small food court here, and this is highly uh, inspired off of the Cozy Cones in California Adventure, where each each area has its own uh, food source so I think the cozy cone has like mac has like mac and cheese cones has like popcorn popcorn and churros um, I'm sure there's others that I'm missing but I just decided to sort of emulate that here it was pretty quick build I was kind of um, 
I didn't want to build a super detailed uh, food court because that is more so with the detail is more so I think to be showcased in the ride rather than here. So I just kind of, honestly low key kind of threw it together. Same thing with those bathrooms and the stall for, or I'm sorry, the uh, what's it called? The stall for uh, the staff rooms. Um, I just kind of threw those buildings together because again, the ride is the main detraction or main attraction here. So uh, not a lot of time was spent um, building these areas, but I did want to detail them and sort of tie in the tie in the whole park with the ride because normally, um, parks like this do have small little food courts or you know areas themed around to what the ride is um, You know, I know at full throttle at Six Flags has like that uh, Wings place that's right next to the full throttle ride and it's all sort of uh, themed with each other So I wanted to do that here as well And finally we are adding lighting <laughs> and other path structures around the around the site and the project so Finally getting to that and just filling in the corners with all the planters at this point. I am so ready to be um, I'm so ready to kind of just finish it out and you know because the ride's been done forever and I've been working on landscaping and stuff. I actually do enjoy the landscaping but um, you know it, it's pretty time consuming and you know if you, if you have the right headspace to do it it's actually kind of intuitive and very satisfying and therapeutic but <laughs> Um, so yeah, I got it done and just kind of I did the most of that off camera because I didn't find it very interesting. But what you see now is actually the uh, the lighting and I had a lot of fun with the lighting because I was like trying to figure out the color wheel in terms of what would look best with blue track and what lights uh, would work best. So I decided to go with kind of violet and uh, purples and pinks with the blues and I think that goes well with our red and, and blue color scheme of the ride. So. Um, and actually the the really dark blues go well with the the track and I think it looks pretty looks pretty neat to me so I'm actually kind of happy with how the uh, lighting turned out but yeah I think we're starting to get more near the end of the time lapse I'm just finishing out some station lighting here but again everyone thank you so much for watching this series I had a great time <laughs> talking with you all and you know bringing you on this journey of me recreating this ride. It was definitely a difficult one. Um, I kind of <laughs> dug myself into a lot more detail than I thought I, you know, I probably should have, but you know, here we are. And um, I'm very proud of what I was able to build here. So uh, again, thank you so much for supporting it and watching the videos. Uh, I know there's probably only a few of you at this point and I hope to really grow this channel and expand a little bit more um, and expect more videos like this. I have some other rides I think <laughs> uh, I could also recreate from my past. Uh, I have a bunch of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 cringe rides that I've made <laughs> that I think I could sort of glow up and revisit. So please watch out for that. I'm thinking about making this a longer series <laughs> rather than just this one, but I do want to return to Lunar World because uh, Lunar World has been my project through all of quarantine and I really want to continue that so expect those videos to come next and um, again follow me on uh, follow me on discord and twitter i'll be posting some updates hopefully a little bit more than i have been <laughs> i'm gonna try and upload more videos maybe hopefully once a week or twice a week but yeah anyways uh i'm rambling but thank you so much for watching uh, enjoy the b-roll